the match that they decided would follow Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes was almost against Bobby Lashley. And I continue to wonder what has poor Bobby Lashley, the nicest gentleman that you could ever meet, <laughs> what has he done to them? Having a match with almost is like having a match with a piano. But there's even Bobby, as big and strong as he is, he looks minute, and you can't you can't move that that much dead weight around for it, right? With you see, sometimes an accomplished worker can have a match with a guy that's not very good or green or whatever because. Not only can he, the the veteran, call it, but he can often put the opponent in the right place for whatever the fuck's going. That's just a lost cause here. And almost can do a few offensive things, but when he tries to sell anything, it's brutal. The body language is non-existent as far as to make you believe that this is really happening. It's a giant man lurching from one side of the ring to the other in a it looks like he's underwater in in an attempt to do the things that he's you can tell he's supposed to be doing but he's not he's not really there i mean when finally bobby made the comeback and and hit him with the clothesline where almost was just supposed to fall backwards and get his arms tied up in the ropes I understand. I've seen guys miss the arm top. I've never seen him forget to fall backwards into the ropes first. <laughs> he just stood there and Bobby had to push him back and then start pulling the rope up over the. And then it, it, he tries to get the hurt lock on MVP and almost stops him, but Bobby comes back and gets the hurt lock on almost. And almost runs him into the corner. I, I, I wrote it that this is like watching rhinoceros porn. One rhinoceros giving it to the other rhinoceros, doggy style. Well, I guess it'd be rhino style. They were More doing it heat. first. I mean, technically, rhinos were doing it before dogs, based on who was on the planet first, right? Well, one would think because yeah, there there has been more time for the evolutionary species to evolve the dog than the rhinoceros has been around for a while. And if you used to watch the Herculoids, you'll know that they used to have a rhinoceros that <laughs> shot fucking force beams out of his goddamn horn. But anyway, there was another set of awkward heat, another awkward comeback. Bobby almost hit a spine buster, almost fell down. He just didn't go up. And then almost posted Lashley, MVP hit him with his cane and almost hit a choke slam, one, two, three. And that was, Bobby Lashley was fucking competitive with Reigns and Brock for not only the title, but the top spot two months ago, three months ago. And now he's doing jobs for a human waterbed. What'd you think? I think Lashley got as much out of him as you could. He's so limited. For everyone that thought Andre the Giant was being lazy when he fell on the ropes, yeah, part of it was lazy. Part of it was, it worked. But he made it look so easy. Almost couldn't <laughs> even do that. And then once he was in the ropes, he couldn't figure out, like, do I sit down? Do I put my legs out? It looked like he was in a hammock. He was just reclining, <laughs> leaning into the ropes. I thought they were going to give Lashley the win just because this has to end at some point, but I think uh -huh. they're doubling down and they've got bigger plans for almost an MVP. I don't know why. And it, well, and let's not say we don't know why with MVP, just in this current predicament that he's in, he's make fun of other wrestlers outfits. The guy's yeah. dressed like he's going to get a sandwich at the bodega. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> uh. Right now, MVP is the one trying to pick up a turd by the clean end. <laughs>